Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. Sorry I've not uploaded in the last few days. Um, if you watched my last video, I did mention quite, I've got a few things going on at the clinic at the moment, a few exciting things. So I've just been really busy and, um, but I thought I'll just upload this very short, quick, um, but interesting case. Client attended with bilateral impacted. And when we say impacted, we mean that the wax has been lodged, it's been pushed really deep into the ear. Um, I always compare impacted ear wax to um, sand uh, in a bucket when you're on the beach and you've got the spade and you're putting the wet uh, sand into the bucket and you're getting the spade and you're put, kind of hammering it in. And that's what happens with earwax when you use Q-tips or cotton buds, uh, in the majority of the time anyway. Um, and if you've got wax in the ear, now if you don't have wax in the ear, then the cotton bud or the Q-tip isn't going to impact the wax because there's nothing there to impact. But this um, had been impacted on both sides. You could probably have seen the mark as well, the indentation of the, the cotton bud. However, the patient also had underlying eustachian tube dysfunction. You can see that's the eardrum. The top part of the eardrum is sucked inwards. There's a little pocket. And I'm just kind of focusing on that now. So to the left of the, the circle on the screen. Uh, so that's a, uh, an attic retraction. So the attic is the top part of the eardrum. Uh, the top part of the eardrum uh, is also known as the pars flacida. Uh, whereas the, the main body of the eardrum is called the pars tensor. And the pars flacida is a bit more elastic, it's a bit thinner, whereas the pars tensor is a bit more muscular, it's a bit more rigid. And behind the eardrum you have the middle ear. The middle ear is, it consists of the eardrum, three tiny bones, the ossicles. So you can see again, I'm just shining the attic part, the, the region where it's sucked in, there's a little pocket there. Uh, so again, the right side, you can see the indentation. So I'm going to let you just watch that because it's pretty straightforward, just using suction to reduce, um, lift the wax. This is a bit softer, off the canal wall to extract it. So the middle ear should be full of air and it consists of the eardrum, three tiny bones um, called the ossicles, the smallest bones in the body. You may know them um, as the hammer, anvil and stirrup, but medically they're known, known as the malleus, incus and stapes. And then you've got a tube called the eustachian tube, which is a narrow orifice which connects the middle ear, so the cavity behind the eardrum, to the back of the nose, the nasopharynx. The eustachian tube has two functions. It's a drain pipe, so any fluid that accumulates behind the eardrum, it can drain away. Um, but it's also the pressure equaliser in the ear. We want the air pressure in the middle ear to be equal um, to the atmospheric air pressure, so the air pressure in the environment. And when the air pressure either side of the eardrum is equal, that's when the eardrum is most compliant, most mobile, therefore allowing more sound to be conducted through the eardrum, through the ossicles to the organ of hearing. If that eustachian tube gets blocked, and it normally gets blocked at the back of the nose, I mean, this um, eardrum is also slightly retracted. Uh, if it's blocked, uh, there's no air behind the eardrum, so it creates a vacuum and the eardrum gets sucked inwards and eventually, and that's called eustachian tube dysfunction and eventually, because that eustachian tube is blocked, fluid that normally would drain builds up, builds up, builds up and eventually you get glue ear, which is a, a filling up of middle ear fluid um, that can get infected and that fluid turns into a glue-like viscous substance, hence then glue ear. So I hope you enjoyed that video guys, um, stay tuned and I shall upload some more videos in the next couple of days. Thank you, bye.